Hi guys, I'm back. Um, someone asked me if I could um, show you the mixing of the paint, but then really up close. So I thought I'd let you watch me do um, the paint. Um, this is the consistency I'm talking about, the build up on the stick, and then if you put the stick in and you hold it upright, you see it pouring off. One, two, three. And you sort of want to um, see it come off in a stream, one continuous stream. So I'm showing it again. And I'm doing this with a, a different camera, so, you know, it's Im important to um, let you see inside the cup. <laughs> That's about it. Then I'll show you how I mix it. Let's see, this one. Okay, there's, um, in here it's turquoise. You see how thick it is? Oops, I gotta make sure you can see it. So you can see it's just one big blob of paint on the uh, on the stick. So this is uh, the acrylic paint with the pouring medium. Then I add some water, just a little bit, not too much, and start stirring until it's fully stirred and the water is fully taken up by the paint and the pouring medium and I really like mixing paint because you know it it's something you do I think you call it automatically and I usually watch TV when I do this yeah I'm a I'm a big fan of those re reality programs I really love that so we have one here in Holland that's been going on for about three years. It's called Utopia. And I always watch them. So there we go. See the build up on the stick? And the pouring off when I hold it vertical. Let's do it one more time. The build up on the stick. And when you see at the end that it starts to come off in little chunks, then it's still too thick so usually then I use this squirt bottle because you can dose the water better so just a little bit more still a little bit thick but I also think I haven't stirred it well enough Yep, that's still too thick. So a little bit more. And this should be, you know, enjoyable. This shouldn't be something that you're doing, you know, when you're all nervous or you want to get get to painting. <clears throat> because um, this, this should just get you in the uh, Zen mode to make a, a nice piece. That's about it. Right now I think it's a little on the thin side, but that doesn't really matter because here I have the other cup. This is totally only paint, as you can see, big blob on the stick. Then I put in the pouring medium, just about 20-25%, you can go 30-40, doesn't matter. So we've got that in there, then I'm mixing it up. And there you go, one big blob of paint on the stick. Then we put in a little bit of water. And why I'm making two of the same color is because um, I had a request on YouTube that uh, someone wanted me to do a beach scene. And to tell you the truth, I am a, a sucker for a beautiful beach scene. But I've never done one before. 
so I thought that is one great idea and let me do that so there you have it still thick a little bit of water in there so what I did is um, the one I just showed you this is going to be the sand sand color and this one is going to be um, these two are going to be the first two shallow parts because I want them to be really like turquoise I've been to a lot of really beautiful beaches in my life I've been to Mexico uh, Playa del Carmen and I've been to the Maldives. I went to uh, it doesn't exist anymore it was Nak Nakatafuchi Island that was beautiful they named it something else now and they you know they just I think tripled the prices couldn't even go there if I wanted to that's how expensive it is so here's the build up and you see it coming off in little chunks so we have to add the water so I'm I really like a beach scene <clears throat> so I want to um, do the sand and then I want to do uh, two or three pores uh, resembling the water but they just keep getting darker and darker so to really look like a a beach with water going deeper and deeper and deeper okay this is okay now but I'm going to mix in some of this um, turquoise blue just a little bit to make it just a little bit darker than the other one I like it when you uh, look um, from a height, you look down on the beach and you see all those colors blue. That's so pretty. Okay, there's a slight difference, but not enough. <clears throat> so I'm going to be putting in just a little bit more. That's it. I think I'm coming down with a cold. Someone must have gave me some sort of a virus, I don't know. That doesn't keep me from painting, does it? No. Okay, you see the build up on the stick? And you see the pouring off. That's about it. That's the right consistency. Hope I'm not holding my hand in front of the camera. And you can see the uh, the difference in colors. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but I see two different colors of turquoise. Let's see if I can see what I'm doing on the camera. No, I can't. But this is it. This is what you want. And if you're not certain of the way you've um, mixed the paint, what I usually do, and I have to mix a white first, I will then um, I will do a, a, a test pour. And I think if you're starting out with this, you should do that too. Just do a test pour. So there's the white in the cup. Then the pouring medium. And yesterday someone gave me a good tip. They they said, you know, I don't use plastic cups anymore because there's just too much waste of paint in those cups. And uh, I agree with that. So I'm going to be, uh, this is, today and tomorrow is the last, uh, the last two days that I'm going to be using plastic cups. I'm going to look for some uh, glass, glass that I can wash off, you know, afterwards. That'll save the environment a lot of plastic. Not that I feel bad about it, people, because I am very environmental friendly. I have uh, my both of my. I have a really big roof in two uh, two parts, and they're totally full of um, solar panels. So 
so I uh, help where I can. And I help myself, of course, because it's cheap. See? Too thick. If you have something that looks, looks like this, it does drip off, but, you know, it's just too thick. So, adding a little water. And then I'll show you a little test uh, run I do on the paint, and then we're good to go. And I'll stop this video and put up my little iPad. And I'll show you how I do the beach scene. And I hope you all do understand that things can go wrong. It's not that I always make beautiful art. It's um, trial and error and a lot of experimenting. And before I do the beach scene, I'll show you how much I experiment. Because I think a lot of people just think, you know, oh, she's just lucky or something. But I put a lot of work in, uh, in understanding the acrylics. So that's about it. Could be a little thinner, especially because it's white. And what I'm going to do is something totally different because I'm going to be pouring. Um, first, I'm going to do the sand. Then I'm going to pour the light colored turquoise green. And I'm going to pour separately. I'm going to pour the white over the turquoise just where I want it. So pretty much controlled. And then when I torch it, it should look like waves because that's what the person asked for and while I'm doing this I really want to thank everyone that sh just should show some appreciation if you do that because I know it takes time to do and I really appreciate it and there we go so uh, the rest of the um, the experiments that I'll be doing this weekend is a silicone on the canvas. Someone asked me, you know, can you spray the silicone on the canvas before you do the pour? And I thought, well, I'm pretty sure what it's going to do because if I put silicone on the canvas and then pour over it, it's going to be, you know, all these little holes where the paint uh, gets resisted. And um, But I was thinking if I first painted the canvas, then sprayed on the silicone, and then did the pour, we might get some real, really funny different effects. So that's what I'm going to do. So silicone on the canvas, uh, waves on the beach. Someone asked me to do something similar to Greg Benz. Do you know all know him? Because, you know, I looked at it, but um, what I see is that he uses very thin down paint. So I'll be really thinning down the paint and then trying to do a Greg Benz, I guess. Um, then someone asked me to do uh, a pour from really up high. So like three foot high and then just drop the paint. And then preferably on that spinning thing, the turntable. I can do that. And, you know, the things you guys come up with, <laughs> I think, oh yeah, that's cute. Let's do that. So it's not, you know, an inconvenience, like you say, because I just love experimenting. If I were to do this, instead of selling paintings, I'd be very happy, because I just love doing these experiments. Um, the other one they asked was water and soap. And that is something that maybe I should show you, because some people uh, do the pores, and then they use one of those mist, misty, misty bottles, and with diluted dish soap, they spray on it, and then you get these uh, now thousands of little cells. They don't really get big, but you get a lot of them, so I can show you that. And then one last request this morning on Facebook was if I could do um, a plastic, plastic pulling, pushing. I, I know exactly what they meant because... Um, the person that uh, discovered that was Danielle Wilkinson, and she has an um, uh, Instagram uh, account. If you want to know exactly, uh, just put it in the comments and I'll um, give you the link. But she uh, discovered that if you lay your paint on a, a surface and you put on a, a coat of plastic, so you lay plastic flat on, on the paint, then you 
slide your hand over it just a little bit to put the paints squish them just a little bit into each other then you pull off the plastic and you get these really nice little cells and the pattern of the paint because the paint is put down in strips it looks I don't know it gives it a different look so I will be doing that too but because that's one two three four five six different experiments I'll be doing some today and then some tomorrow and that will be six of them so you got a lot of videos coming up and I am really happy to do them and I have to do a really big one because there's an opening of a sports shop in the little um, town that I live in and um, I'm going to be doing a 120 by 60 centimeter uh, negative space pour so it's going to be really big and I want it to have really dynamic flow in it because it has to fit in a in a sports shop right so I was thinking really throwing down the paint doing it really fast and making these waves and I'm pretty excited about it so I'm going to be doing that too so um, I hope for everyone that this is clear the um, the build up on the stick the pouring off when you do this it comes off in one big flow and you know if ever you think you know could you just show that mixing just to, just another you know make another video because sometimes you know making another one um, I don't know makes it clearer I don't know but if you want me to do that just put it in the comments and I'll write it down and then I'll just do it because as you know experimenting is my middle name okay thank you so for watching I'm gonna be putting this one uh, right up on Facebook because uh, YouTube sorry because maybe some people want to do this this weekend and they're not sure about the consistency of the paint and there was a lot of stuff I was I was going to talk about but I can do that in the next video so um, thank you and see you in the next video